What's poppin' peoples? It's going zones. Your boy's back. Your boy's been going hard. Going ham sandwich on this shit. And um, I know last month, well, it's now May. I didn't do any videos for April, so this is gonna be for my May video. Um, I went a little hard and you know, I have my, got my crate down here and I had it almost full. I'd say about two thirds of the way. This time it's it's all the way to the T, like almost. Look at that. So gotta gotta show these off a little bit, do a little bit of a you know the same thing that I always do. So um, I don't know if you guys have ever heard of Prodigy. It's like a late '90s electronic music group. Uh, not too shabby. They they had some um, some hits. I mean, just from this, the first two tracks right there, Smack My Bitch Up and Breathe, were huge back in the days. And then Firestarter was like their other big hit. Big hit. So, you know, this one right here is just more nostalgia. It's not really hip-hop. It's just something that I wanted to buy. And, you know, I found it. So, it's mine now. And in this regard, what's back here, that's all from previous videos. So, let's see. Got a couple of singles here. Fucking Ob Trice, real name, no gimmicks. This track right here, like I swear to God, I must have played it like ten times a day that uh, I came in with this one. It's because it's such a hard beat, such a hard rapper. Ob Trice is uh, severely underrated. So go peep this one out if you haven't heard it. It's on the, it's from Eight Mile on the bonus CD that came with it, and I finally got my hands on the vinyl copy of it. So yeah, twelve inch single, dope shit. Ob Trice rap name. Uh, some Black Moon, you know, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, two turntables and a mic. That's from their, uh, I think their second album. Dope shit right there. Two turntables and a mic. One bad MC on the set. Fucking DOC. This single, I already had this single, but I didn't have the sleeve. And I wanted the sleeve just because, you know, it was dope. Plus, this is only like a couple of bucks. So, I said, why not? Why the fuck not? Chub Rock. Seems like I'm collecting Chub Rock singles up the ass without ever finding any of his fucking albums. And I mean, eventually, I you know I want to have a couple of his albums, but you know, I can only get what I find, right? So, yep. Lost in the Storm. I was happy with this one. This was great. Let's see. Parents just don't understand from the Fresh Prince and Jassy Jeff. I actually got this one in Mexico for a hundred pesos. Yep. So yeah, this one's dope. I mean, it's before Will Smith, the actor, came out, and it was really just the Fresh Prince. So dope shit. This is probably one of his early hits. I'm, he might have won a Grammy for this one. I'm not sure, but I think he did. Let's see. Techno. What is it? Technotronic. So I don't know if you remember that. Pop up the jam. Pop it up. This one I got in Mexico too for 150 pesos. So the 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 conversion to dollars, it's like I think when I went it was about 18 or 19 pesos to the dollar. So I don't know, do the math. I left the prices on there just because they're like people look at them like, damn, 100 for this? Yeah, 100 pesos. There's another one I got in Mexico, fucking Sir Mix a lot, some 80 shit. I never actually heard it, but um, when I was at the store. Uh, the guy was real, like, catering to me because I told him I'm into hip-hop. And, like, he never gets anybody that likes hip-hop. So he just started pulling out all the rap shit he had. And this is one of them. So I was pretty cool with it. I, th I thought this was pretty cool, you know. I was cool with it. So I grabbed it. And I was like, yeah, yeah I'll take this Mix-A-Lot, Sir Mix-A-Lot shit. Damn, stuttering. St -st 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 stuttering. Let me take a hit off my vape here because I need to relax a little bit, you know. So I'm going to try to zoom through these because I got this plus that. I'll get to that when I get to it. But I'll explain what's going on with that bag over there. So anyways, continuing with the Mexico trip that I did a couple of weeks ago. Fucking Roger. And this one was a surprise because like the their greatest hits. My God, it's ridiculous. So I figured if I can't have the greatest hits, I'll try to find all the 12 inches and probably have all the songs you know and get it for i don't know a fraction and this one was look at that 20 pesos which is about a dollar so this one was a major major come up 
for me at least, because I really like Zap and Roger. They're old classic, fucking heavily sampled by hip hop. You know, so another one. Let's see, Bad Meets Evil. So this is Eminem and Royce the Five Nine, as you can see right there on the cover. And these two tracks are from um, the game, Game Type, the their little compilation. And I just wanted a single for it. I found it in um, down in San Diego, a place called Soul Shack, which I'm pretty sure I've mentioned before. Big shout out to those guys. So, yeah, keep it moving. And this one, this was a little beat up. The the sleeves kind of kind of meshed fucking got shredded up a little bit there but uh yeah west side slaughterhouse is from mac 10's first album there's a track where they shit on common and um more on that in a bit so yeah this was a good one uh this is probably the best song on the album and i got it for for a good cause because i like it that's right big l deadly combination this is special right here this this is not something i ever thought i would ever get my hands on so if you go and listen to big l's second album called the big picture this song is actually on there but it doesn't have biggie on it so on the album it's just tupac and then big l and it's an old freestyle from tupac from uh the ron g days in like the like 94 95 and uh, Ron G actually produced this shit, so he brought the the freestyle that Tupac did, and put it along with a Big L freestyle, I guess a tribute. But then Big L wound up dying, so it's kind of crazy how it worked out. But this this one right here has Biggie on it too. It's got both clean and dirty version. I remember I was at the store, and uh, one of the guys that worked there just started playing random records, and then I heard the beat, and I'm like, Yo, I recognize that shit. I'm like, Is that? Is that is that the the big L? Then I heard Biggie and I'm like, what? This one has the the Biggie verse on it. So I told him if he was gonna buy it, and he's like, no nah, man, I work here. If you want it, it's you know it's yours. And it's a couple of bucks too. So that's a big come up. That's something I never thought I would have. have big big surprise to me. So uh, nonfiction. I shot Reagan. I actually have the seven inch for this. It's exactly the same as this. But this one, I just I don't even know why I grabbed it. I'll be honest with you. But you know I have it, so it's cool. <laughs> But it's a dope track. I shot Reagan this from uh, from their first album. King T, Freestyle Ghetto, let's get it on. 12 inch. So it's cool shit. There's some shit with uh this I think this exhibits first appearance on on a, on a major track. And uh yeah, happy to have this. Love exhibit. So exhibit's one of my you know heroes from the late 90s, early 2000s. Cronkite, uh this is uh Field of Agony from the Liquid Crew. And uh, it's dope. Highly recommend you peep this track. I remember hearing that on, uh, I think it was um, one of those old old school fucking mixtapes. I have it on CD somewhere, like that Mark Echo mixtape that they used to do. I don't know. I don't know. How, I don't know what I remember. I think it was Underground Airplay, Volume One or Two, one of those. Ones. So yeah, another one, Coco Brothers, aka Smith and Wesson. This is Black Trump, which is a sick fucking track featuring Raekwon. Gotta hear that one if you haven't heard it. You know, if you're if you're listening out there, take a name and write these down so you go and check these fucking tracks out because they're fucking dope. Common, remember how that West Side Slaughterhouse? How it was going into them dissing Common on West Side Slaughterhouse? Well, this is Common's reply to that track, and it's called "The Bitch in You," which is really mostly dissing Ice Cube, but he takes shots at everybody. Mac Ten gets some. Um, and uh yeah it's a dope track this one i'd say i mean i'd say it's just as good as west side slaughterhouse it really is and apparently that's an expensive fucking single but they let it go for like ten dollars so i was like oh fuck it it's a good shape too so yeah big l mvp oh no put it on mvp is another one yeah so this one I actually got in the mail uh like a month ago and this is one that i've been one of the reasons why i've been trying to make this video to show this one off because it's kind of a, one of those uh, not exactly easy to find type of single, so happy to have it. You know, I love Big L, second Big L. And uh, let me see, going into some of these albums. So, oh shit, I'm not even trying to break this. So, AZ, you know AZ? Like, I know AZ. He's a rapper that came up with Nas, and he had an album called um, Do or Die, which was dope as fuck and then 
Uh, I, I don't know if these ever got pressed on vinyl, but I think Fat Beats, either Fat Beats or Get On Down, did a release of all of them. Like at the same time, I got it in an email and it was like an impulse buy. You know, I just said, fuck it. I'm buying all these at the same time. So I got all three of them. So it's Sosa, fucking AWOL, and the format. And all three of them are sick. I mean, AZ has always been a top-notch MC. Like I said, if you know AZ like I know AZ, you've probably heard of those. Ed OG. This is the second release I got from Ed OG. Truth Hurts. And I thought this one was dope. I, I didn't realize where he was from. I thought he was from Florida for some fucking reason. But it turns out he's actually from Boston. So uh, I don't know if I said that on the last video that I made. That he I had one of his records on but this one actually was pretty pretty good um i'm gonna get it get more into ed og so that's a good buy for me freddie mr freddie gibbs he has a bunch of nicknames this is from uh vinyl me please and i wasn't super impressed with it but it did have a couple of dope tracks that first one specifically i thought was really good straight killer no filler i really felt that one yeah, this one's this one uh, is a uh, one of those kind of rarities, but hey, why don't we please put it out, right? So, ain't that rare anymore. Gia, so let me get. It's only the first beer of the day, and I'm not really planning on drinking too much today. It's Sunday. I don't really drink on work nights. Ah, uh, but today I'm feeling good, so I'm gonna have one beer or two or three. You see, Planet Asia EP. This I think is his first ever release, and and it's actually dope. This one um, I didn't even know existed, and I've I've been in the Planet Asia for a minute. I you know, but I've never like really got into collecting his music because it's kind of rare. So when I found this, I just grabbed it. I didn't even I, I didn't know if it was a one track like a single or if it was an album, but it's an EP, so it's in between. Chill. Yep, happy to have that one. That one actually really dug. Fucking um, Benny the Butcher. Yeah, the plugs I met part two. I mean, it's all right. I I like the first one more, but it's all right. Snoop, I want to thank me. So this one, I was. Um, I want. I don't. Wanna, I'm not gonna say I was disappointed with it. I just expected more because this was Snoop getting back to rapping and shit. But then it had a couple of tracks that were really like some shit that should be on that Bush album, which is trash. But I mean, all in all, it was OK. I'm, I'm going to keep this one. Bush, I'm going to I might burn that one because that one's horrible. And let's see. Let's see. These two kind of go together. So EPMD out of business and EPMD back in business. I don't know which order they go in. I think this one came out first. This is 1999. And um, I think the, the whole beef with EPMD was uh, interesting. Um, I don't know the exact story, but it involved the robbery. And Eric Sermon setting up Paris to get robbed. And oh, it was a big fucking mess. But anywho... Uh, these two records are fucking dope. Um, I need some more EPMD in my life, so whenever I find some more, I'm going to grab it. And these two right here came from uh, the same place, Soul Shack. So, happy to have those. Oh, my main, main, main man, Dr. Dre, House Calls. So, it's really just a world-class wrecking crew, to be honest. But um, it's only three tracks, uh, you know. Tracks you've heard before, actually, like Cabbage Patch and House Call. I've actually heard those songs a lot. Uh, must be the music, not as much, but I do remember it. Um, so this is going into the uh, Dr. Dre collection. Way up there. Way up there. So happy to have this one. This is I don't know how rare it is, but uh, I don't know. They were trying to slang it to me for, for some crazy-ass price, and I was like, nah, man. Like, that shit says $9.99. They're like, yeah, that's not our price. I'm like, I don't give a fuck. I'm not paying more than that. And they actually let it go for that price. I think they wanted $25 for it. I was like, nah, fam. MC8, Last Man Standing. This might be MC8's best album. No shit. I like, in my opinion. Um, yeah, I really like this one. Uh, it came out in the, like, 96, 95, 96. 
and I was really impressed. Oh, 97. Yeah. I was really impressed with it. I thought the production was better than his previous albums. And it's, I'd say it's maybe even a little bit better than the CMW, the music to drive by, you know, but you know, that's mainly because of the production. It's a little bit more polished, but yeah. Oh yeah. Metal fingers, special herbs, three and four. So it's just singles from, I mean, not singles, uh, instrumentals from MF Doom, which are fucking dope. And, uh, you know, RIP MF Doom, you know, always in our hearts. With your metal mask. Buster Rhymes. Last album. Or latest. ELE Part 2. And this one was dope. Like, like seriously. I mean, come on. It's Buster Rhymes. Fucking Buster Rhymes can never go wrong. And, uh, yeah. Much props to him on this album. He really put it down. Just like he always does, you know. Um, man, that track with the fucking... The, 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 the the poison sample i forget the name of that shit but that one that one's sick i saw the video for it uh after i bought after i didn't even know i had a video but yeah that that one really impressed me uh third base i got this one only because mf doom is on it on the track called gas face and the entire album is fucking dope not gonna lie this is one of those that it uh was kind of surprisingly impressive and yeah highly recommend this one Gas Face, the Cactus album. Gas Face is the best track. Yeah, Paul Wall. Uh, you know. Oh shit. I'm not somebody who that particularly loves Paul Wall, but I did have a clean version of this album, and I finally found it. Found the real regular version. So I just said, "Fuck it, go ahead and get it." And I mean, it's a good one. I'm not gonna lie. It's got it's got some pretty dope shit on it. Sitting sideways, you know, that's, that song's huge. Um, so yeah, I'd say check all of it. It's got a track that samples, um, and I don't remember the name of it. Um, it samples the Tupac's um, uh, "Shorty Wanna Be a Thug." It has the same sample, and I thought that was a dope track too. That I I didn't remember hearing that track, but you know, it's dope. High Tech, High Technology, this is the, his first album, and it's dope, you know, it's mainly like, kind of like how Dr. Dre used to do it, where he didn't really rap most of the time, like he had a couple of tracks where he rapped, but then most of it was all featuring other artists, and this one's got a pretty good lineup on it, like it has Common, Buckshot, shit, like I don't remember all, I think uh, Talib Kweli makes an appearance, um, like high tech did a lot of shit with like Snoop and shit in the East Siders. Like he had he had that that kind of G funk kind of sound. So recommend this if you've never heard it. And let's see. Now we're gonna get into some more classic shit. You know what? I'm gonna stop the video here because this is already past 18 minutes. So I'm gonna stop it here. I'm gonna make it a part two. And part two is probably gonna be like another 20 minutes because I gotta get into that. So I'll be back.